Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and today we're going to be playing EverQuest Project 1999. I am on Ver Odin, U.S. Bor, and we're going to be killing some guards today in High Hall Keep. So, I'm going to move this guy up here. I'm just moving him here because of the fact that this is an easier place for me to pull but it sounds like there's a panther so I'm going to go back down now by the way it is so hard to be in here without a shrink you cannot shrink in high hold keep you need to bring shrink potions which is what I should have done should probably move this over there while I'm not canning Add. Yep, he is expected. Go ahead and slow him. Well, I'm just gonna root you then. I'll just finish this guy over here. I guess if I wanted to, I could just do this. There we go. We're going to slow this guy. It didn't land last time. There we go. Now it's just easy sailing. I could pretty much sit down and he'd kill himself. <laughs> it's not true, but it feels like it sometimes. So I have, I think, a total of one, two. This guy is a pather. From over there where I'm facing I have another guard that is a pather and then I have a, a skeleton guy that I have to kill as well and that is my cycle it's five mobs pretty easy to do just get myself back up to uh, 200 mana. We don't want to take on the undead guy, which is um, a paladin, I believe, until we have at least 50% mana and we also have. Um, I just dot him. There we go. Pull him back into here. Alright, we should be good for now. For for another class, I would be freaking out right now, I think. But <laughs> but for this guy. I, I feel comfortable at being at around 30% health. Even 20% health. I mean, these guys can't kill me as fast as I can regen. Especially when I have regeneration on and the fungi tunic. Uh, they do drop swords. Uh, fine steel swords. So I you could do those. One thing I have to say is if you're evil and you're hated here... Don't go past this line right here that leads over into that section. And uh, the same goes for don't go close to that door over there. The reason why is there's a high level mob in there and they will wreck your face. Alright, I'm going to get some mana real quick. And I'm also going to summon my pet because we, we are going to need my pet for this... Um, this undead guy. I just got here, by the way. So I, uh, been doing pretty good. I mean, I'm already 30% into 35. And this has been just maybe an hour or two earlier today. And what I'm doing right now. So it's, it's very, very good experience. If you get a chance to get around level 34 on a shaman and you don't care about your faction, this is the place to do it. So. Anyway guys, I'll be back in just a few minutes.
Okay, so I am back, and I am going to be taking on this guard, which spawns in that corner over there. I hate looking at the, the back of the head of this guy whenever he's so tall in these rooms. Um, once he dies, then this guy should be spawning, and I will go ahead and pull him. It's just a body pull. I, I need to bring him into this room. I also need to make sure that I keep uh, tell my pet to stay back until um, so I'm ready for him. How did my pet get hit? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and root him. Alright. Let's see if he was up. He was not up. There he goes. Tell my pet to come back. You can see how I'm, I'm ducking at the moment. I gotta slow him. And then that's it. Once he gets to around 40% health, I'll dot him and then I'll get enough mana back so that I can do a direct damage on him. And that's pretty much this guy's fight. If you don't kill him uh, whenever he gets around 30% health, with uh, the direct damage then it's going to be a complete heal and you're just going to have to fight them all over again it's a very very slow tedious fight if you have to if you don't get the uh, get through the sea heal i guess is what i'm trying to say so now that he's in his 40 percent he's going to start casting once he hits uh 40 percent exactly and uh, we're going to just beat him down and try to get him to the point where he gets 30%. Because he doesn't actually complete heal himself until he gets to, um, until he gets to like 20%. Okay, start direct damage. He's at 30%. He has a constant damage from a pet. And he completes a heal. He complete heals himself. There he goes. Well, that didn't work out for me the way that I was wanting it to. Uh, so I'm going to have to... Get some mana back so I can try to redo it again. Um, or at least try to get the, the fight finished. Let's see. Has he... He was never... Um... Never had that dot on him apparently and slow his um, fail He is almost to 40% again, and he just hit me hard Man I hate you sir uh, Now I have to slow him because he is hitting me too much. Now, I should be comfortable here. As long as he's slowed. I mean, he's gonna... Oh my goodness. At least he's uh, slowed and all he can do is just use up all the rest of his mana. He can't complete heal himself again. But you can see my health is staying at 174. I'm happy with that. Last ditch effort. Ah, oh, you son of a gun. Really? Did 
Jeez. That is when you don't like killing him, or I don't like killing him. But, uh, yeah. So this is it. This is what I do. Um, I do the, what was it, four or five mobs? One, two, three, four. And then I do the skeleton guy. He just makes it easier for me to get a little bit extra experience. And I'm at 34% now. I don't know what I was at at the beginning, but I'm sure I've gone up around 3 or 4% since we started the video. So, let me know what you think. Am I doing it wrong? Should I be doing something different? I know that there is the option to go ahead and move over to Soul A and kill the gnomes there. That is always a thing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I will talk to you next time. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.